In this tip of the day, let's take a look at side roughing within one CNC. Now, typically, when roughing material for this area right here, you might use a face mill operation or maybe a pocket operation. But what I'd like to demonstrate is that you can use a profile operation and perform side roughing. Let's first measure the distance that we need to rough. I'm going to head over to the Verify browser. I'm going to select our measure tool. I'm going to left click and left click and we can see along the y-axis the distance is right at 30 millimeters. Alright, let's head over to the command manager, select our stock tool paths and we can either use Mill Profile Basic or Mill Profile Advanced. For this example, I'm going to be using Mill Profile Basic. I'm going to take my cursor, left click the edge, I want to climb cut on the outside so I want to left click that arrow right there and when I'm done I'm going to right hand mouse click. For this toolpath, we're going to be using a 10 millimeter diameter end mill. This all looks good. We'll click next on that. The depth looks good at minus 3 millimeters. That looks great. We'll click next on that. We're going to be using cut levels. Next. Now for side roughing, we want to make sure that we have a value set for remove amount. Remember, the value that we need to remove is 30 millimeters. So I have 30 set here. And up here where it says auto step over, that's going to be the step over the tool is going to take in between each pass. And I'm happy with 75% of the tool diameter. That looks great. Let's click next on that. We don't need an extra finish pass. I'll click next on that. We do need to provide a value for this. If we take a look, our line starts right here. So we want to start away from the part. So for this, for the lead in amount, I'm going to use something like 10 millimeters. And I'll do the same for the exit values as well. Notice how my lead-in angle is set to 0 and 0. Let's click Finish and let 1CNC generate the toolpath. Very good. Let's quickly take this into Preview. I'm going to right-hand mouse click, select Preview Toolpath. And here you go. You can see we've got the 10 millimeter end mill. And it's performing side roughing, taking 75% of the tool diameter for the step over using a 10 millimeter end mill. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button.